Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and I'm back here today in my Silhouette Studio for another um, tutorial. And I sort of loosely call these Silhouette Studio tutorials, but I think I want to maybe change the name of these a little bit and call them more like a Design Along With Me Silhouette Studio tutorial because I'm not specifically going through, you know, each and everything in Silhouette Studio for these tutorials, but I really want to get you thinking about things that you can do with the basic tools that you have in your Silhouette Studio. And I like to buy designs. I buy designs on Etsy. I buy things from the Silhouette Store, but nothing pleases me more than being able to create some of my own things. And part of the reason is, you know, now I don't have to worry about, you know, is it a commercial license? Is it a personal license? Um, I kind of have a high standard as far as, you know, making sure that I use things um, appropriately when I'm, you know, making creations and not taking someone else's design or elements from it to make my own. Um, and that's sort of one of my pet peeves, but I think that being able to create my own designs is very personally gratifying and um, so I like to to show you how I do those kind of things and you know then you can go ahead and try to do some of them too and I realize it takes a little bit more time but um, you know the the end result is kind of fun and neat and it's cool to be able to say well you know I created that design myself and so that's the reason I do these and so today I'm going to be making this um, I guess maybe you could call it a wreath or this branch um, display here and I've actually just copied and pasted one and flipped it around to um, you know show you what you could do with it but I'm going to move this off the mat for now and I'm going to get started at helping you make one of these from scratch. So we have these different tools. We have the line tool, we have the draw polygon tool, we have the draw curve shape, and we have the arc um, or flexi shapes. Um, so I'm going to use just the arc. And I'm going to set that down. And I'm just going to create a loose arc here. And I can use this little grab handle now to make that bigger or smaller. And I'm kind of close to the top of the page. So I'm going to bring it down. And so as long as I don't convert this to a path, this is still active. And so I can move it around. And now I'm going to continue to make it a little bit bigger yet. And now if I click Convert to Path, it's a shape, or it's actually a line. Um, and, you know, it's what I want to work with for now. So... Now what I usually do is grab this um, draw curve shape and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Grab my curve shape again and I didn't zoom. I'm not sure what's going on here today. All right. And I'm going to make, I guess I called it sort of a boomerang leaf. And it gets better, so stick with me here. And you can see why I call it the boomerang leaf. So let's, um, if I drag over this to zoom, I'll get in nice and close here and I can show you these edit points a little bit better. So now this doesn't look like a leaf, obviously, but if I click on this, I can manipulate some of these points 
and I'm going to click corner here for this one and that will allow me to be able to drag these handles separately otherwise what happens is you just get this seesawing back and forth and it it really doesn't work well so I'm going to drag this one out and that's going to kind of start to create a leaf shape and I'm going to drag this one out and I can move these other points as well and I can drag that out and you can go around here and just you know see what you can do with these handles as far as creating a sort of leaf shape and you can make them as skinny or as wide as you want they don't have to be any here's you get this you can see how this teeters back and forth but if I click corner now these handles actually move independently so like I said they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical not everything in nature is you know perfectly symmetrical maybe that one does look a little bit more fat than I want it to um, so I have that pretty good um, maybe I just want to make this a little bit closer to the bottom of it And you get the idea of how you can kind of drag these out and okay so with my leaf done I'm going to zoom out again and I'm going to open my replicate panel and if I go to this circle with other circles and a dot in the middle, that's the object on path tool. Like I said, today is a slow day for my computer. Um, so now I'm going to click on the show grab handle. And I'm going to put my leaf on my path. And you can see that there are several of them along the path. And I can control the number of repeats here. So maybe I only want five. And I can change that. And now if I want to, say, be done with that, I can release my copies. And I have my five leaf pairs along my path. Now maybe I just want to make some of these smaller and I want to move it sort of towards the end of my let's do this I'm going to use my knife tool on straight and I'm just going to cut off a little bit of my arc here and delete it and now I can take that leaf back here and I want it to be at the end of my arc and now I have my leaves all along my line and I can move them and manipulate them if I want to but let's just say that I'm done here but I'm not yet I just have a bunch of leaves along the line so I'm going to click on that line and I'm going to use my offset panel and I'm going to offset that line and now I have a shape around my line and I can go in here on these distance settings and I can make that offset 
be whatever I want it to be. And let's just say that's good. And now if I go in here, I can move that original line away and all of my leaves are situated around um, my shape, my line shape. And if I want to, I can center them up a little bit better. just by selecting them. And I can decide now, do I want a little bit of a stem to um, be out there, or do I want to just bring it out to the front and weld it? And I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now that I have those where I want them to, I can maybe even make some of them bigger let's make this one a little bit smaller Want them to have a little bit of degree um, get larger as they go down the stem can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move those a little bit too. Um, sometimes I find that a little bit helpful. And let's just say we have those all where we want them now. And I'm going to drag my mouse over all of them and I'm going to click on Weld. And now I have my branch done. I can delete this line. And if I wanted to, I could, you know, further manipulate some of these points and things to um, change the shape of it again. Okay, so with that drawn then, I'm going to go up here to my rotate panel and let's rotate that counterclockwise by 90 degrees and let's duplicate it so control C control V and I'm going to mirror it flip horizontally and now I can move this wherever I want and if I want to be sure that they're um, aligned I can go to the align middle and that'll move them just slightly into place now on my other pair here. Let's bring them back. I applied the warp tool to give them a little bit of a more circular look. And so this is just something that's fun that you can um, use uh, this technique to make your own. Using the leaf shape around a circle also works and so you can do that um, and make a wreath of your own. Um, so we're just, you know, having these little side garlands here. But it's just a, a fun way to create a design. And if you wanted to, now you could put some text in the middle of here um, that's kind of trendy and, and um, you know, really have fun creating your own designs. And so I I'm glad you stopped by today. I hope this was something that was helpful for you. 
I like using the replicate panel. I think there's a lot of um, neat things that you can do with it if you just, you know, understand what it does and how it does it. I've used it in some of my other videos, so I invite you to go back there. I also like point editing because it gives you a little bit more, um, you know, freedom to be able to work with with these designs and that's one of the reasons I really like Silhouette Studio so much. And once again I thank you for stopping by today and sharing this time with me to create something in Silhouette Studio. If you have any comments I invite you to um, leave them down below in the comments section and if you like my channel I have more videos planned and I hope that you will stop again and if you like them, hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of those future videos. And thanks again for stopping by today, and have a wonderful day. Bye.